everyone. Welcome back to the Shaquille YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I am here to give you an unboxing today. A true unboxing fresh out of the box. We're going to be looking at Star Quality by Raquel Welch and this is in the color SS Vanilla. So it's going to be a rooted color. But before I do, I want to remind you to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can learn about all those wiggy things. Also, before I begin, I wanted to remind you that my previous post. So my previous video I did on Giselle, where I did a review on Giselle, I had a little giveaway going on. So I mentioned that if we reached up to a hundred likes, then I'd be going through the comments and giving away a $50 gift card. So if you haven't gone back to check, I have just randomly selected, I kind of like closed my eyes and went, Boop. <laughs> randomly selected two winners for a $50 gift card. So make sure you go back and look to see if I replied to your comment and congratulations to the two winners. All right, let's carry on and get this show on the road. Okay. So we have, as I mentioned, star quality by Raquel Welch in the color SS Vanilla. Now this is actually a wig that I personally own. I, I don't personally own this one, of course, because it's brand new, <laughs> but it's a wig that I have personally owned for a couple of years. So I can talk about it a little bit more in depth and give you all the special details on it. And I'm even going to show you the one that I have and that I've owned for a while so that you can kind of see what it looks like out of the box versus a couple of years later. Okay. So here we have star quality. It's fresh out of the box and packaged up all nicely. There's nothing better than getting a brand new wig. Am I right? Like it's, it's an exciting time. Okay. Take that netting off. Oh, here we go. Okay. The one thing that I can tell you from the get-go about star quality is that she is a low density piece. So if you love those low density pieces and you don't like a lot of hair, then she's going to be a great one for you. She also doesn't have a lot of hermites, if like any, there's almost none. It's like such a tiny little layer that there's almost no permities. Okay, let me talk about this color quickly. So again, this is SS23. It's a shaded vanilla. So we're going to have some medium, I would say that they're warm brown roots going on here. They're not that cool. They're They're fairly warm to neutral brown roots. And then the rest of the wig, it's kind of a nice sandy, light sandy blonde color. And then you're going to have some platinum all throughout that as well. And of course, I did not go and read what Raquel Welch's description of is of this color. This is just from my own eyeballs. <laughs> That's what I see. I like telling you guys what I generally see as opposed to what they tell us. So on this particular wig, it does have a good mix of warm and cool. It does not lean yellow. Um, I'm not sure if you see any yellow on the camera, but it does not lean yellow. It's a very nice neutral to cooler blonde shade. All right, let me show you guys inside the cap. So what we have here on star quality is going to be just a temple to temple lace front. It's not going to be extended. So it just goes to about here. And then we have a left monofilament part. Now, the great thing about temple to temple laces and just left mono parts is that it cuts the cost a little bit. So instead of having a full mono top and an extended lace front, just these features here are going to bring the price down yet still give you enough to make it look realistic, which is of course, always nice to have on the top here. We have some closed wefting. So this just means it's machine sewn into rows and often there is permatease here. So you're going to find just a touch of permatease, but like I mentioned earlier, there's really not a lot. This is not going to be a poofy, big haired wig. All right. We have an open wefted cap nice and stretchy. We have those velvet ear tabs, nice and comfy, <laughs> velvet extended nape and some Velcro adjusters here. So this cap, it's a nice cap. There's nothing wrong with this cap. It's just a very standard cap that gives you just enough to look realistic. Okay. I'm going to put this on for you guys. Okay, here she is. Now, the one thing I can tell you is that sometimes wigs, when you first put them on, they're not going to look quite right. And sometimes you get a good case of the, the box hair. I feel like I'm having a little bit of box hair going on right now where um, the bangs aren't necessarily sitting where I want them to. They're a little bit like kinky. 
um, but that's okay. What I want you guys to know about wigs is that sometimes you need to give them a little bit of love before they're gonna do what you want them to do, especially with synthetics. They kind of take some time to work into, but once you work into it, they're wonderful. Okay, so this is made with synthetic fibers. So if you're new to wigs or if you're new to wearing synthetics, one thing you need to know about them is that they can be a little bit shiny. <laughs> um, this one is one that is a little bit shiny. Um, I personally find that blonde colors on synthetics tend to look a little bit more shiny than um, darker colors or than like two-toned colors. If you get a color that is just kind of one tone, um, it's gonna look a little bit more glaringly shiny than if it were a couple different colors combined. However, if you do find your synthetic piece to be a little bit too shiny, then you can go ahead and get some dry shampoo, any dry shampoo just at the drugstore, and give it a good dousing. Just spray it all over and it's gonna help dull your shine a little bit. It's not gonna solve all of your problems, but it will solve them a little bit. Okay, so as I mentioned, this density, it's a nice light density. There is not a lot of hair here. Here's my ponytail. It's so cute and thin. <laughs> There's not a lot of hair here at all. Honestly, this is a very light density wig. When I'm feeling around for the permatease on them, there's just there is some, but it's so slight. There's, it's not a big pillowy soft permatease. It's just a little bit amongst the wefting at the top and just a little on the sides and crown, just mostly to help hide the wefts if it were to blow in the wind. Um, and mostly just because this is such a light density piece. You want that little layer of permatease to help disguise that wefting. Okay, so I was talking a bit about box hair earlier and I see how this kind of like comes up and down <laughs> the bangs are sitting a bit funny um, and there's a few little kinks going on so as I mentioned over time this is gonna relax a bit um, what I would suggest is if you are planning on keeping the wig give it a little bath stick it in some cool water let it sit there let it soak and then take it out pat it dry and just let it hang to dry for a little bit and it's going to freshen it up a little bit and make it more easy to work with. All right, but the style is really versatile. We have these bangs here. Now these bangs, you can either bring them forward like this. You can do a straight bang. Um, it might be a bit long for you, so you could cut them, of course, or you can have them sweep to the side. And they're easily swept to the side because there is this left part here. Now, of course, as I mentioned, because this is a new wig, it's not going to do what I want it to do yet. These bangs don't really want to go where I want them to go. They're, they're kind of fighting me. So give it some time. Since this is a synthetic piece, you can't use any heat on it. So no flat irons, no curling irons, no um, anything really. But what you can use is wet heat. So something like a fabric steamer is going to be your best friend when it comes to synthetic pieces. A fabric steamer is going to be really good for training your hair at the root to go in the direction you want it to go. So for example, if these bangs want to be swept more to the side, I would suggest you take your weight or your fibers, clip them up, and then take your fabric steamer and steam just at the root and let it cool dry. Do not do this with it on your head because you will burn your head. <laughs> Make sure you take it off your head before you do this. But adding that wet heat so that steam is gonna help train your fibers to go in the direction you want them to. Okay, this is a really nice, light, breathable style. It's got a lot of layering happening, lots of face framing layers as well. And it's just a really nice, light, fluffy layered style. Let me give you a peek at this lace front. So again, it is just temple to temple. I do find that the knotting on this one, um, they seem to be a little bit bigger than um, some other Raquel Welch ones, but I don't mind it too much because there is this bang here um, that covers all of that lace anyways. Okay, and let's take a peek at that left monofilament part. So you have about an inch to play with here where you can part in that space. So I'm coming up nice and close here. <laughs> I'm trying to see where I am, making sure I'm in the picture. 
All right, one thing I would say about this is that these fibers are really soft. I really like the feel of them. Okay, now I was mentioning about synthetic hair and that it is gonna look shinier than any other fibers, like heat defiant fibers or like human hair, of course. So it is gonna be shiny looking, especially straight out of the box. Because when you get it out of the box, it's gonna come with a nice sort of silicone coating on it that's gonna help give it that new out of the box feel and it's gonna give it that extra shine. However, know that over time, that shine is going to start to dull as you wear it and as you wash it. So in order to show that to you guys, I'm gonna show you my star quality that I've had for almost two years now. This is in almost the same color. This is the unrooted version of SS Vanilla. This is just glazed vanilla. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but my personal one is a lot less shiny than the one on my head. I'm gonna take this off and show you what she might look like over time. So I have actually done something to her. Um, I know previously I was talking about um, using a steamer. Now a steamer is gonna be your best friend for plain synthetic wigs because it's gonna help take out any frizz that you have with your wig. So over time, synthetic wigs are gonna start frizzing up at the ends and feeling dry and frazzly and ugh, yucky. <laughs> Using a steamer to go through your wig and steam out the frizziness is gonna liven it right up and make your fibers feel brand new. So the one drawback of that is that it completely straightens your wig out. So if you have some kind of style going on with your wig, like a wave or a curl or like a swoop or a flip, the steam is going to kind of get rid of it. So I have steamed my wig because as I mentioned, I've had this for almost two years. So over that time, the ends have gotten frazzly. So I got out my steamer and steamed it. And of course it's gonna make it nice and straight. So my star quality is now very straight. It doesn't have the same sort of flippities that the original star quality has. However, maybe this shows you that it can be a piece that will last you a little bit because it is a straight piece that makes it versatile to be able to do something like steam it without ruining it too much so it still looks pretty good as a straight piece in my opinion okay you'll also notice that over time with mine my bangs i have swept to the side i didn't bring them forward i still could but mine naturally want to sit to the side now. I've treated them as a swept bang. So I always have people asking me like, well, I got my star quality and it looks nothing like yours. That's because you have to wear it and you have to train it and you have to customize it and you have to make it your own. So of course, mine isn't gonna look exactly like yours is because yours is fresh out of the box and you need to do a couple things to make it into what you want it to be. And that is the beauty of wigs. You can transform them so easily. Okay, so star quality I find is a really great piece because it, to me, is one that can kind of stand the test of time. And that's for a few reasons. So one of the reasons it can stand the test of time is because, as I mentioned before, you can easily take a steamer to it and not compromise the piece too much. As I've mentioned, I've taken a steamer to mine and it still looks really great. It still looks very similar to what it came in, minus a few little flippities. Another reason this is a piece that can last you a bit longer is because it has a bang. So when it has a bang, it's gonna cover up your lace front. Now, one of the first things that's gonna start going on your cap is gonna be your lace, and it might start to fray over time. So my lace is a little bit frayed at the ends. It's not too bad. It's a little bit frayed, and it's even starting to lift a little bit easier than it did when I first got it. So again, over time, your lace might stretch out a bit, might fray a bit, and it might cause you to not wanna wear it as much. But because Star Quality has the bangs, it can hide the lace and you don't need to even worry about it, which is a really great thing. Okay, one of my favorite things about Star Quality is her ease to style her in a half up, half down, or in an updo. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like to style her best. In fact, I, whenever I wear star quality, I'm almost never wearing her down. I'm always putting her up in some kind of way. And I mention this all the time, but I love pulling wigs off my face or off my face if I have something on my face, like a bang or some layers in front. It just helps give it a softer look and a more natural appearance. Okay, so here she is 
kind of half up, half down. And she's so stinking cute. I just love her in a half, half down. I usually um, will put a scrunchie in and it looks really cute. Okay, now let me show you her in a updo. My favorite updos are with claws and that's because they're easy to do. I just twist it, take my claw, put it up. So they're easy to do and it's not going to hurt the fibers as much as if a hair elastic was in there. All right, and I pull this out in front of my nice bangs here, and she is a really nice, glamorous updo. I kind of, it's a little bit pokey up there. I would probably soften that up a bit and bring it down. <laughs> but here she is. A really easy piece to work with and style. Okay, I don't have a scrunchie with me, but she's also really amazing in a ponytail, just like that. And again, she's not very much hair, so it's just a really nice, cute pony. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give you one last look at my star quality that has lasted me a couple of years and I'm gonna put on brand new out of the box star quality so you can kind of see what you will probably get at first. So out of the box, she's gonna be more styled, more perfect. So even me just putting this on right now, I can see the difference in shine. So hopefully my wig can show you that the shine doesn't have to last forever and it's going to dull down eventually. Many people get their synthetic wigs out of the box. They take one look at it and go, ah, it looks like a doll's hair. And then they just send it right back. It's not always gonna look like that. All right, hopefully this gave you a little bit more insight on star quality and all of the things she's capable of. I really do love this wig. It's one that I would probably get again by the time she's getting ratty, however, I am someone who like wears my wigs to the ground. I mean, I could easily just keep this one that's on my head right now, but um, I, I'm not going to because this one is perfect for me and she is in still really great shape. So I feel like my biggest takeaway for you is just give your wig some time, give it some love. And even though you might not love it right out of the box and it might look a little bit funky, give it some time and it will turn into something that you love. And if star quality is one that you're into, then make sure you check her out on our website at chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada, or chiquelle.com.au if you're in uh, Australia. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.